has to do with the story that we talked about just a few weeks ago. It had to do with a student by the name of Constance McMillan. She asked school officials at Itawamba Agricultural High School if she can bring a female date to the prom and if she can wear a tuxedo to the prom. Now the school responded by canceling prom altogether. With the help of the ACLU, she sued the high school, all right, and the high school said, uh, the judge said that if the high school does decide to reinstate prom, that she will be allowed to bring a female date, okay? Mm -hmm. What the high school did is they pretended as if they didn't reinstate the prom, and instead they were going to have a small get-together uh, called the Country Club event, okay? Mm -hmm. So she's like, okay, fine, I'll go to the Country Club event, and I'll take my girlfriend, and I'll wear a tuxedo, and it'll be a good time. Well, it turns out there were only seven people there, including her, her girlfriend, and two um, students with learning disabilities, okay? And then she found out later that the prom actually did happen, and all the other students were partying on the very same night. That it happened somewhere else in another private party, and they shwang wang wanged her and said, ha, 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 and they didn't tell her where it was, and they basically had it without her. Uh, now, here are my reactions. First of all, uh, Constance, screw them, man. I mean, boy, do you not need them. What are you going to go to the prom with those dirtbags for anyway? Yeah, that's what I just called you, okay, for two reasons. One, I mean, do you think you're clever? Adults obviously participated in planning this thing, and you're leaving out a 17-year-old girl and laughing behind her back? You disgust me, okay? Like, ah, ha, ha, we discriminated against her and we tricked her. Ah, oh, that's great. Yeah, that's fantastic. But number two, it took a particularly disgusting turn when they also told the kids with the learning disabilities the wrong address. Right. I mean, you want to talk about classless? Uh, what, I mean, what are we, what is this, like some stereotype of like the ugliest part of the 1950s America where they're like, oh, he's slow. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Jesus, you ought to be, if you participate in planning this in any way and you thought you were clever, I mean, you should be embarrassed for the rest of your life over this. It's so stupid and juvenile, and I don't know, what, did you, what do you think? You got the kids with the disabilities? Like, ha ha, zinger, you got them, you misled them? God, that's so stupid, it pisses me off. Yeah, it's really pathetic, and uh, Constance had a really classy response to what happened, and it just shows you her character and what a strong person she is. She says that um, she was happy that she attended the event, and she was happy that the country club event happened, because uh, the two students who have the learning disabilities had the times of their li had the time of their lives. Um, that's the good thing about that's a good thing that came out of this. They didn't have to worry about people making fun of them at their own dance. Yeah, I mean, who wants to go to that prom? I mean, Constance and the other people. Let me tell you something. You went to the much much better event, and I'm not saying that like, oh yeah. No, I'm telling you, okay. Nothing but dirt bags at the other prom. Okay, none of them had the class to tell you. Oh, the whole class kept that as some sort of like private joke and and thought that they were being cute. Look, I know I'm being harsh on them, but I'm most angry on the adults that helped them plan this. I mean, you gotta look. It's one thing when kids that are in high school do this, and we look. We've seen a hundred movies. We all went to high school. We know how some kids can be mean and cruel, etc. But somebody that was an adult in Itawamba County had to pull their head out of their ass and say, this isn't right, we can't do this, what the hell are we doing? And instead, apparently, they all went along with it. Ha ha, he he. I know, believe me, Constance, everybody else, you didn't want to go to that so-called prom over there. Okay, if I go any further, I'm going to do crazy insults, so I'm going to leave it right there. Man, that story got me angry, you know? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's there's nothing else to say about it. I mean, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. But what are you going to do? I mean, right now, nine students are facing criminal charges because they bullied a 15-year-old student so badly that she committed suicide. Okay, this, is, this stuff has real consequences. Thank God Constance is a strong student. She's a strong 17-year-old, and she's not letting it really cause damage to her psychologically. But there are students right now, homosexual students, all throughout the United States that are being discriminated against, that are being treated poorly, and that has severe consequences. And so instead of learning from situations like that, you're right, the adults do something totally classless and totally irresponsible. Yeah. 
Look, uh, if you're in high school, whether you're gay or not gay or somebody's bullying you or whatever, look, just don't believe the hype, okay? Those kids, you think they know what they're doing? They don't know what the hell they're doing. And I'll tell you, I've been to the 10th year reunion of my school. I've been to the 20th year reunion. And those so-called cool kids, they don't wind up that cool, okay? A lot of them wind up, you know, in, in desperate situations. And they carry, and, you know, look, a friend of mine, and we'll just, last lesson of the day, and then we'll move on, okay? But a friend of mine uh, uh, has a, a young son, and he was getting kind of bullied by a, an, a significantly older girl, okay? And so he comes to his dad, and he's like, look, I want to can't put, open up a can of whoop-ass on it, okay? <laughs> he's just like, he's a spunky kid. And, it, and he's like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, right? And she's like, she keeps picking on me. And he said to him, look, uh, here's what you have to know the rest of your life, which will really help you in these situations. Mean people are sad inside. That's why they do the things they do. And I thought that was such a great lesson to tell this kid. Yeah, Because it's, it's true. so true. And I've seen it played out in my life a million times. The ones that are like, do the most douchebag moves, like, are by far the most insecure. And that, that never winds up helping them. So... Don't don't get hung up on what happens to you when you're young, okay? Believe me. And and <laughs> look, there's a lot of ways, you know, when you're a kid, you think of revenge fantasies, right? <laughs> right. The best revenge is served in so many different ways. In you know, I know it's corny, lead a happy life. But look, that's the best, you know. Yes, that is the best revenge. It really is. I know it's kind of trite, but it's it's true. Second of all, get rich. <laughs> I know I'm against corporate America. People think I'm not a capitalist anymore. My friends are starting to call me Jenk the Socialist. Okay. But no, no, no. Listen, get rich. And then be like, oh, what happened now? What happened? You know, the very... Oh, you, well, you didn't want to study in school. Now I'm getting a little personal. See this. You didn't want to study in school, but I did. Huh? I said, how'd that work out for you? 